Ooh, plenty of steam. Let's give that a go. Okay. Oh, hey! What I'm going to do with this experiment is crush an aluminium can with water. Not mussels, water. And to do this, what I need are safety gloves, tongs, cans, cold water, a bowl, and a hot plate. Now, all of us have taken a, a can like this when we finished drinking and, and crushed it. Great. There it is. It's not quite the same volume that it was before. That's because our muscular action, that energy, has pushed all the air out of it as a byproduct. So instead of muscular energy, what we're going to do is take the can and we're going to make it susceptible to air pressure on the outside. All around us, air acts on us at 14.7. PSI, pounds per square inch. That, that affects us all, and that's pushing, pushing on the can. And in normal instances, there's either a liquid inside or there's air inside pushing out with the same sort of pressure. But what we're going to do in this instance is we're going to heat the inside up, we're going to boil a bit of steam, we're going to get a bit of water going in there, we're going to create some steam, and then we're going to plunge the whole thing into a bowl of cold water. And what will that do? That will make this air inside contract. That will make the volume of air on the inside contract, get smaller. There's a can. We've still got the same air pressure on the outside, crushing away like that. But suddenly, the volume of air on the inside, that's air, you can imagine that's, that's air there, has suddenly got smaller, it's contracted, because all the energy has been taken out of it, so it's got smaller. So all around here is a vacuum in a split second, in a, in a tiny, tiny moment. And in that time, all the air on the outside wants to crush that can, and it does. Wallop, it, it's crushed. So I'm going to put some cold water into this bowl, and then I'm going to put a little bit of cold water into this can. Not much, because I want it to heat up pretty quick. I'm going to put gloves on. Can't be too safe. And... I'm then going to put it on this hot plate. I can put it on the hot plate like this just now. But as soon as I see steam coming out there, a tiny bit of vapour, I'm going to uh, remove it and plunge it into this cold water, and we'll see what happens. Now, this is a bit difficult. It's not like a kettle. I'm not getting boiling sounds. I'm not getting whistles going. So I've got to judge. I don't want the can to melt. It's got to be boiling. It's got to be hot, but I don't want the aluminium can to melt. Now remember, this is hot, of course, yeah. So don't stay down at this level after you've looked for the steam. When you do the experiment, get well away. Get your eyes well away from the hot water. It's difficult to see whether that's steam or, or, or smoke from the can. I think we're going, I think that's working. I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to be super quick with this one. Hey! There we are. And I honestly did not squeeze that. That was just tongs were just lightly holding the can. So there we are. And look at that, the vacuum pulled all that water inside the can. So there's the principle, the vacuum was strong enough to crush the can and pull all that water inside. Of course it's all used energy, we've used heat energy instead of muscular energy, but the, the process is entirely different. Let's split that can now as well. Now, just in case that was some incredible fluke, let's do it with a bigger can, because we can. So I am going to do so. Uh, it might be a better effect. So, a bit of water again. Oh, maybe I've done that. Oh, blimey. How do I know if I've got enough? Right. <sighs> this is almost like watching a kettle boil, isn't it? But, ah, ha, ha, how we laughed. Remember, heat, can't see the heat, but uh, if you were to touch this, you, you know, you would, you'd griddle yourself. You wouldn't be poached. You'd, it, it would hurt, it's hot, so be careful. Ooh, plenty of steam, let's give that a go. Okay. Oh, hey! Oh, look at that, that's absolutely fantastic. So there you have it. All that water sucked up in there by that vacuum. So that, that's, that's exactly how it works, it works. All that sudden contraction pulled the water in and pushed all that air pressure on the outside to crush that can. Fabulous, fantastic. And that's how you crush your can with water.
This is Head Squeeze. That was Live Experiments, and we are the first channel, the shiniest, newest, most glittering, most dazzling channel to say to you, yes, you should try this at home.